Hello, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Thanks for stopping by. Today I thought we'd play with some alcohol inks and water. I want to share a trick uh, with you that a friend shared with me. So what we've got here is some water in a plastic tub, just normal tap water, not hot, not cold, just tap water. And I've got some alcohol ink. And what I want to do is simply drip the alcohol ink into the water. I've used denim and then I shall use some butterscotch, just some yellow. See how it spreads, it's really amazing the way it breaks it up. Let's use some salmon as well. That looks interesting. Do you see how it breaks it up when you drop it into the... Isn't it fantastic? So we've used salmon denim and I think I may even use a bit of green. Let's have a look what happens if I drop the green into that area there. Isn't that cool? Cool. Right, so We've got these patches now and what I want to do is just, just gently, let's just blend them, shall we? I think that's what Dee said. <laughs> and so what I want to do next is take some card. So this is the same card as I use for jelly art. And I've just cut it back. Actually, the only reason I've cut it back is to fit in my little plastic pot. And what we're going to do, the first one's always a quite vibrant. We're going to bend it like so, so that we don't get any too many bubbles. And then we're just going to drop it into this mix. And then we'll swish it around a bit, like so. And then when we lift it out, let's have a look. We get the most amazing backgrounds. So I'm just going to pop that on there, you see, this is obviously wet, isn't it? But you see how you can, and you can actually chase the colours if you want, but I, I really like this. So let's put that to one side, now let's see what happens if we make another one. This one will be much, much lighter, I imagine. So let's drop the same again, let's just come in like so. Drop the colour down and let's see, this one will be a lot f more faded, I should think. Lift that off. There, look at this, isn't that a pretty one? So you see the second one is far more subtle than the first one. So we're just going to get off the, get the excess water off. But you wouldn't think that water would make such a superb carrier. Let's just put that over to one side. You know, you can add a few drops and keep going and going and going. Um, again, it's one, of those, it's one of those techniques where you have a session and then you do loads of card with a bat. But first of all, let's see, this one would be nice if we could dry it. Um, but you know this is going to take a little time, isn't it? Same here, you know this is going to take a while. So let's just see if I can, if I can, can we be patient? Can we wait? Can we speed it up a little bit? Let's have a look, shall we? Um, you can always speed it up with a dryer, like so. I think we can safely say that it does pay to be patient. Um, this one's still a bit wet and this one I've scorched and I've um, 
and it's still wet at the corners and it's all curled up now but it still looks lovely I'm sure if I find a heavy book I will be able to salvage this one because it's rather lovely fortunately here are some I did earlier so let's take a look these are so cool look and like I say no two are ever the same so you get yourself this amazing stash of really interesting look that's fantastic that's a floral one lovely all gorgeous I think what I'll do is I'll add these two to my stash at the bottom and I'll take the top one and I want to convert this into a piece of artwork you see this is dry this is lovely this is flat and I'm going to take one of our best newest stamps and a black archival ink pad and this is a stamp of a tree that suddenly becomes birds. It's very lovely and very special. And I just want to use one of these lovely alcohol ink backgrounds to set off my tree. Sometimes you just don't need more than a fantastic background. Let's check it out. So I just want to lean into the stamp because it's a big stamp and I'm going to press in the center. Let's check it out. There we go. I love it. I love it and I like that it isn't solid black, that it's come out a little bit more mottled. I think that's the alcohol ink in the background. But you know what? I'm going to leave it there. I think I've made my point and I thank Dee for her inspiration. Just a few drops of alcohol ink in water, brilliant carrier for making marvellous background papers. The paper is not glossy, it's just normal, just like the jelly card paper that we use. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you next time. Bye bye now.